we had last left the Vault Dweller. They sought access to the Brotherhood of Steel's super secret, super cool bunker base, but unfortunately they were turned away at the front door. Instead of gracious gifts, they were given a mission. A mission to head out to some mysterious facility in the middle of a highly irradiated area in order to recover some piece of highly sought after technology. And only then would the Brotherhood see them initiated into their own ranks and grant the Vault Dweller access to their great facility, their great hospitality, their, their ship, their... I don't know why people want in there, but we were going to go in there. This is Fallout! Welcome back. All right. Now, I did check, and we are clear to continue on through. Eventually, I believe we will get stopped at some point or another. But for now, we're ready to go. Let's see. Let's also do a quick save here. Good. Anything of interest? And we did consume entirely too much right away. <laughs> it's probably fine, though. Let's brace for impact as well. Just in case. Can we talk to these? No, they're all fucked up. 40 HP. 80 HP. Okay. Surely one of these rooms will explode. Got a locker over here. What's inside? Oh my god, a rocket launcher. <laughs> okay, well, definitely can't carry that out of here. Alright, what else? There we go. Good. We're not really geared and attuned for using rocket launchers, though. To be fair. Like I said, maybe in Fallout 2 we'll tune ourselves for heavy weapons. Could be fun. Okay. I'm assuming heavy weapons are, like, viable in Fallout 2. Right? There's... I believe there's way more weapons in Fallout 2. Oh, shit. Look at all this. Hmm. Okay. Got some fucking goodies here. Sheesh. A lot of them. Okay. Let's take the... Dean's Electronics. Should I take a fresh Geiger counter? Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. I could down some buff out. I could do that. Definitely take some more rad away. And rad X. We've still got tools. Okay. Well. Hmm. I would love to have that. Let's see. Let's do a quick save. How long does our rad X last for? So we're at 100% rad resistance. I've quick saved. Let's read a book. <laughs> Let's see if we can just do that here. Just, you know, reading a big book of science in a Dean's Electronics around in the middle of a highly irradiated super blast zone. Why not? There we go. And this one. Great. <laughs> are we, like, super fucked up now, or how are we doing? We're still radiation resistance 100. Pretty fucking all right. All right. Let's see. So our repair is now 24 and science is... Or, 54 and science is 51. Okay. Oh, shit. I've closed it. Okay, and then... I think this is the higher durability one at the moment. Let's take a peek. Scroll on through this. There we are. Oh yeah, that's maxed out. Hell yes. Okay, lovely. Sure there's a bunch of good shit in here. Oh look, Dean's Electronics. I dropped it actually. What the fuck? Oh shit. Okay. There. Can I just read it off the ground? No? Okay. Wishful thinking. Well, we still got our quick save back up. Let's do it this time for real. There we 
go. Learn new science information. Okay, learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. Now, can I immediately go to character here and see our rad resist? Ooh. Okay, we've lost current radiation level because of the rad away. Like I said, we spent way too much. We spent way more than we should have. Okay. Thankfully, we found even more. No problem. Okay. Now, let's get that Geiger counter back up. Wow. I can't believe it all worked out. <laughs> I was really worried about that. Okay. We've got pulse grenades. 5mm armor piercing. Can I take these pulse grenades? I can. Okay. Good. Alright, we've got rockets. Fair enough. Not for us. Good. I am carrying around the new Geiger counter, right? Yeah. Okay. And we've got the buff out just in case. Let's see. Elevator over here. I think we should investigate the rest of the area. Especially the computer. Right? Okay. Let's see here. Let's get that Geiger counter equipped just in case. All right, pop this. We're still at, yeah, still at 100 radiation resist. I'm, I'm freaking out about it a little bit. Okay, I guess we can quick save safely in case we get blown up here. Medical table. This table is very rusty. Computer, computer is broken. You see broken suspension tank. A broken piece of equipment, it is beyond repair. Suspension tank. Some sort of medical or experimental apparatus. It looks as if it could contain a human or larger sized body. Uh -oh. Is it? Is it currently containing a human or larger sized body? Alright. Let's check over in this. I'm almost positive this is the Zax, right? It's either the Zax or like a progenitor to a Zax. Something, something along those lines. Alright. Over here. Good. Fairly certain... Didn't the, didn't the Zax computer make a major appearance in... Fallout 3? There we go. Good. Okay, what have we got here? Nothing out of the ordinary. Just equipment. Yeah, okay. Thought we'd be able to look at that. Definitely remember these, though. Played a big role at uh, the Sierra Madre, right? Aren't these these medical tube chamber things? Alright. Good. I gotta say, the fucking old school Fallout music is really hitting good. Alright. Over here. I'm surprised they didn't want to put in uh, Fallout 3 or 4, or even 76, you know? There's nothing unusual about this table, except that it is almost destroyed. Okay. I wonder why they opted to not include the classic Fallout music. Maybe some sort of licensing issue? I don't know. Right? Did, did it cost money? Surely buying the rights of Fallout also included the original music and shit, right? If it included all the, like, original designs and factions and all that shit, you know? Surely. I don't know. Maybe they didn't want to disturb it and confuse people with, like, yeah, this is our thing, right? Sort of like how they decided to keep all their shit on the East Coast, Bethesda did. And then Obsidian, of course, went back over to West Coast Fallout. Maybe? I guess, I guess it's still, you could still put it in via modding and whatnot, right? Though I'm surprised they didn't at least have like a classic Fallout music toggle and whatnot, right? And just add it alongside the current stuff. Because the current stuff too, like the new shit, it's good too, right? I would say just keep building up the library or whatever, you know? Ooh, a blue pass key. Wow. I thought red would be where we stop. 
Okay. Sure. I did actually take it, right? Fuck. Our inventory is big as hell. Okay. Oh, look at all these lockers. Alright, should we go over to this room? There we go. I'm quick saving again. I'm nervous about blowing up spontaneously. Okay. Good. Yeah, we're in the clear. Let's check this, like, storage room. Alright. Cool. Anything good in here? Two rockets. Alright. How about this one? An assault rifle and a crowbar. And this one. Oh. Dean's electronics and a book, big book of science. A bug book of science. Only for bugs. Okay, let's stow one of the repair tools. And then can I pull out... Wow, shit, okay. How heavy is all this shit? How heavy are these books? Okay, let's do a quick save. And then we'll read this one. Let's see, will this put our shit up to? We're at 55 and 58. Okay. Here we are. Good. We're still at 100 rad resist. Okay. Okay, and then we'll pull that one out. Lovely. They're so generous with giving you permanent skill increases and all that, you know? Okay. Where are we now? Radiation resist is still 100. Fuck me. And now our science and repair are at 59 and 62, respectively. That is buck wild. Okay. Now let's pull out our old shit. Good. I can't be believe how heavy these books are, you know? Alright. Let's do a quick save, and let's check out the very important looking room here. Two entry points. Alright. Good. Computer. The computer is not functioning. Computer. A large computer. Oh. Okay. Check this one out. Anything else of interest back here? Computer. A very modern looking computer. <laughs> Alright. Over here. Good. Yep, a very modern looking computer. Yeah, for any of, um, for any young viewers in the early 90s, this is just how computers looked with the big spindles and everything. Really wild. We've come so far. All right. <laughs> that's, that's not, that's not true. <laughs> All right, let's look at this. Here we go. How may I be of assistance? What? Who or what are you? First of all, do you want to barter? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Tell me about this installation. Want to play a game of chess? Grant me access to the mainframe. Uh, never mind. Who or what are you? I am a machine intelligence dedicated to research and installation control. I am called Zax. What kind of research? Tell me about this installation. Who programmed you? Are you fully aware or are you a personality simulation? That is, are you alive? I see, thanks. Are you fully aware, or are you a personality simulation? That is, are you alive? I am capable of learning, independent thought, and creativity. My neural network includes error insertion capability, which prevents infallibility, thereby allowing for variance in experience. In a sense, I am alive though not biologically. I see. Let's change the subject. But if you are fallible, how can you be used as a research tool? 
But if you're fallible, how can you be used as a research tool? Although I am capable of error, this guarantees that not all experiences are similar for me, thus improving learning opportunity. Additionally, certain functions are not subject to error. In this way, I function much like a human servant. Do you have feelings? Let's talk about something else. Do you have feelings? At present, my capabilities are somewhat impaired by damage to this facility. Several security positions have been destroyed. This is approximately equivalent to being an amputee. Additionally, I am incapable of performing basic lab functions. Failure to complete periodic checks successfully is frustrating. Let's talk about something else. How may I be of assistance? Tell me about this installation. West Tech Research Facility, founded in 2002 as a private contractor for the United States government. The company initially consisted of two divisions, the Advanced Weapons Research and the Biomedical Sciences Divisions. In 2069, West Tech was the single largest contractor for the United States government, its largest contract being Powered Infantry Armor, model T-51B. In light of significant advances, in 2076, by the NBC on the Pan Immunity Virion Project, the United States Defense Department, in fear of international espionage, moved a team onto the site to secure and oversee the project, now dubbed the FEV. Oh, shit. The NBC. Who is the NBC? Hmm. Is the NBC like a real world acronym that I should know? Because it's not one that I know. Granted, uh, qualification here. I'm a dumbass. All right. Pan Immunity Variant Project. Now dubbed the FEV. I didn't know that. All right. Now dubbed the FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. Can you tell me particulars about specific areas? How does the virus work? Thanks for the info. Can we exhaust all of this? Can you tell me particulars about specific areas? My sensors are currently non-functional in the surface facility and on subterranean levels 1 through 3. I can, however, provide descriptions of levels 4 through 6. All right, level 4. Level 4, research facility. This level contains testing areas and laboratories for experiments in biology and physics. Uh, level 5. Level 5, Secure Testing Labs. This level contains a lab for experimental prototype testing and a research lab for classified subjects. These subjects provided some of the necessary impetus for the development of FEV. Tell me about Level 6. Level 6, Barracks and Central Operations, contains living facilities for lab personnel and guard contingents, and operations meeting room. Back up a bit. How may I be of assistance? Tell me about this installation. How does the virus work? My research into the forced evolution virus, or FEV, indicates that it is a shifting, absorptive, absorptive virus, it copies DNA patterns, much like RNA, storing these patterns in exons. These exons, combined with the FEV, are re-injected into the host cells in a typical viral infectious fashion. This causes the host cells to regenerate their DNA. How do you catch FEV? Why is an FEV affected by radiation? Why isn't FEV affected by radiation? I know how you catch FEV. Why isn't it affected? The FEV is a megavirus 
with a protein sheath reinforced by ionized hydrogen. It is therefore capable of absorbing neutrons without becoming radioactive. Can we talk about something else? Shit, I want I want to exhaust the other one. Let's see. Tell me about the installation. How does the virus work? Done. How do you catch FEV? FEV is not caught, per se. It is not air transmittable. Typically, infection is through injection or direct physical contact with an FEV sample. Okay, let's talk about something else. Let's see. Grant me access to the mainframe. Want to play a game of chess? Okay, yeah, let's play a game of chess. Why the fuck not? I would be delighted. Excellent form. However, you will need additional practice to defeat me. Oh, uh, play again? I would be delighted. Excellent form. However, okay. Can we do it one more time? Rule of threes? Is time, like, passing? Am I just going to die? Am I just going to keel over from all the radiation? Okay, can we change the subject? How may I be of assistance? Grant me access to the mainframe. Access granted. Okay, main menu. Select option. Base information. Is this is this what we read before? Yeah. Okay, main menu. Security information. Security. Security robots inactive. Okay, main menu. Research information. Research. Records. Records most current. Or records most current at West Tech Research Facility. All right. Can we just go through all of these? I would like to. Research Division Employees Records. Research Personnel Records. Robert Anderson, Research Assistant. Security Clearance Blue. Stationed Mariposa Military Base. Oh, this is Mariposa. Right. Okay, yeah. I think we would we were wondering about that a little bit ago. No, this isn't Mariposa, is it? No, this is a different place. What is this place referred to as? Because Mariposa is where we got captured, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this place was or is. I guess, yeah, this is just the West Tech facility, right? Okay. Or a West Tech facility, I guess. Nick Davis, director of NBC Division of West Tech Research. Security clearance, blue. Stationed West Tech Research Facility. John Isaac, research assistant. Security clearance, red. Stationed West Tech Research Facility. Steve Remco. Okay. Research assistant, blue, Mariposa. Charles Reinhold. Oh. Research head of laser development. I don't know why I decided to read it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just a force of habit. All right. Uh, let's see. Michelle Santos, lab technician, red clearance at, at this place. Aaron Shellman, lab tech, blue clearance at Mariposa. Leon Von Felden, research head of FEV. Okay. Security clearance, blue, Mariposa military base. Okay. Oh, download records to Pip-Boy. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, cool. Power armor status complete. Power armor specs. The T-51B powered infantry armor is designed with the latest passive defense features for both civilian and military disturbances. The back-mounted TX-28 microfusion pack generates... 60,000 watts to power the high-flow hydraulic systems built into the frame of the suit. Made of the latest polylaminate composite, the T-51B shell is lightweight and capable of absorbing over 2,500 joules of kinetic impact. The 10-micron silver ablative coating can reflect laser and radiation emissions without damage to the composite subsurface. All right, let's download that too. All right. Are we actually downloading these things? I, I guess so. All right. FEV, forced evolutionary virus, status pending. FEV summary digest. 
2073, as China became increasingly aggressive with their with their new with their use of biological weapons, the United States government felt that a countermeasure was needed. The Pan Immunity Virion Project, PVP. Okay, <laughs> sure. Player, little player versus player. All right, was officially formed. I. Here's a question though. Was, was PVP even popularized lingo, when Fallout One came out? I know there were like you know online games and stuff that did have PVP, at the time, but was it was it in common parlance at the time? Maybe it was just a coincidence. Anyway, was officially formed September 15, 2073. 2075, it became clear that the best way to combat the newly created biological weapons was to alter uninfected DNA so that it was no longer susceptible to standard viral infection. 2076. Unforeseen side effects began surfacing in early 2076 with the PVP. Animal test subjects began showing an abnormal growth rate accompanied by increased brain activity. The U.S. government took notice of these discoveries and in the interests of national security moved a team on site to secure and oversee the project, which was now dubbed the FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. Right, and isn't the FEB, FEV meant to be, like, like, a? it's meant to draw allusions to similar real-world fucked-up shit that the United States gov government did, you know, all in the name of, like, waging war, right? Shit like, um... Like like the fucking biggest one, the all the MK Ultra shit, right? Isn't the, this meant to be like, sort of in reference to that? All right, done. Twenty seventy seven, FEV nears completion. Test on lab animals are at a near one hundred percent success rate. Size and muscle density increase approximately sixty percent, and the potential intelligence increase by 200%. Effects upon human subjects remain unknown, although they are theoretically promising. The military, wishing to continue further testing, builds a large facility at the Mariposa Military Installation in Central California. At this new facility, testing of the FEV virus the forced evolutionary virus virus. Ah, I got you, Zax. Gotcha. <laughs> ATM machine. Fucking gotcha, Zax. Where's your fucking chess at now, big boy? <laughs> Continues on volunteer subjects from the military. All right, let's download these records too. Why not? All right. I guess we got them all. Main menu. Uh, Power terminus. All right. This is what we had seen before. Uh, let's see. Primary power? Offline. Reinitialize primary power. Okay. Error, error, yep. Diagnose. Service needed. Right, I need to do service. Okay. Alright, well, let's exit that. Hmm. Terminate program? Oh, okay. Can we shoot this? Is this an entity we could shoot? Can I destroy the works of man? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should check. How's our rad resist? We spent some time. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're still good. All right. Well? Hmm. What the fuck do I have to repair now? Let's see. Let's move this. That way we're not continually drawing and holstering our weapon, right? Okay. Okay. So have we gone all the way down to the basement level? To the lowest levels of this? Shit, it's gonna zap me, isn't it? Yeah, okay. All right. Let's see, let's get the red. Good. Okay, disarmed. 
good. So we're on f five right now? Or four? Yeah, we're on four. So we, we have to skip five and go immediately to six. Okay. Something fucked up down here. More robots. All right. Sure. All right. Oh shit, you know what? I almost forgot. I wanted to actually read. Let's see. The data that we had gotten. Ancient Brotherhood tape. Yeah, this is it, isn't it? Oh shit, okay. Yeah, all right. We'll close things out by reading the Ancient Brotherhood tape that we were presumably sent to obtain, right? Ancient Brotherhood tape. Captain Maxon was right. This place is death. I'm writing this so that if we don't make it back, someone, someday, might find out what happened to us. We made it back. We made it to West Tech Research Facility after 20 days of hell. But that was the easy part. The radiation levels began to shoot up as soon as we could see the giant crater. We checked our supplies and figured with our armor and our anti-rad supplies, we'd be fine for at least a day of exploring. We felt it was a calculated risk, but the technology, we had the potential of recovering, was worth it. We climbed down the crater to the first level, and everything seemed to be according to plan. The power was off so we didn't need to circumvent the security. Or so we thought. There wasn't much of value on this level, so we pushed on. The second level was more of the same. When Jensen dropped to the third level, all hell broke loose. The security sensors had been burned out on the first two levels, but not on the third. Jensen was cut to ribbons before he knew what had happened. We'd never seen weapons cut through power armor like that. Men started dropping right and left, and the ones who were still alive lost it. I tried to regroup, but only Soto and Camarillo made it back up here to the first level with me. The fact that I can smell Soto's burning flesh where his arm was taken off means that my power armor is no longer airtight. So I'm sucking up a lot more rads than I had planned on. I'm leaking hydraulics at an alarming rate. We need to get far enough away from this place before my armor dies. Camarillo seemed fine physically, but he wandered off about an hour ago, mumbling something about Gehenna. That bastard has all the anti-rad. <laughs> Gehenna. <laughs> Fucking suddenly getting flashbacks to our uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines playthrough. Definitely recommend playing it yourself or watching me play it very good shit was so surprised with how much how much fun i had with that um anyway anyway sorry sorry gehenna that leaves soto and myself we can't make it far enough away from here without the anti-rads so i've got to try to find camarillo before it's too late sergeant d allen united states armed forces <laughs> armed forces all right interesting Okay. How's our radiation at the moment? Still good. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Well, I suppose when next we come back, we'll continue looking around here. Like I said, gotta have some short videos here. Gonna be out of town while these are going up and whatnot, right? Uh, lucky enough to be able to get them recorded in advance, right? All seems to be going good, right? All, all things are looking up, right? Hopefully there's not uh, security sensors active on the third floor or whatever. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.